Hi everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom Uvorach. You know, it's no secret that as Jews, we love food, right? Anytime there's a Jew, there's food, and anytime there's food, there's Jews. But it seems that this obsession, this relationship between Judaism and food, started way back with Yitzchak Avinu. In our Perashat Toledot alone, we read three times about Yitzchak and food. And anytime we read about Yitzchak, we, we find food somehow in the story. So as an example, the Pasuk tells us that Yitzchak loves Esav because Esav would put food in his mouth, he would feed him. Later on, we read how Yaakov was making lentil soup for his father, Yitzchak. And finally, at the end of the parasha, we see how Yitzchak says to his son, uh, Esav, go out and get me something to eat so that I can bless you. And wherever Yitzchak is, food is there as well. And what exactly is Torah trying to tell us uh, by telling us about this holy man, Yitzchak Avinu, and his obsession with food? But actually, I think Torah is teaching us something very important and powerful about parenting. Yaakov and Esav represent two types of children. Yaakov is the Yoshev Halim. He is the learner. He sits down. He's studious. He's book smart. He's happy to please. He comes to shul. He goes to learn. He's sitting around the Shabbat table singing and doing whatever you ask. He's the easy type of kid. And then you have the other type of kid. You have Esav. Esav represents someone who's out there in the fields. He's maybe got ADHD and he likes to hunt and he's less studious, more what you would call street smart. And Yitzhak understands that these are both my children and I have to bond with both of them. I have an obligation to each and every one of them. Yaakov's easy. Yaakov, you just ask and he's happy to do whatever you, whatever you want. But what about the more difficult child? What about uh, a child like Esav? And the Torah is teaching us, not that Yitzhak loved food, but actually, if Esav likes to hunt, Yitzhak said, so now I like food. Yitzhak is teaching us that parenting is not about getting our children to do what we want. Parenting is about entering our children's world, about understanding them. And if this is what you like, then I guess this is also what I like because part of parenting is building a relationship, building a bridge of, of allowing us to be able to understand our children, to be curious, to discover what are their interests, what are their wants, what are their likes, and to be able to do something that gives us an excuse, if you will, to be able to spend time with them. If my ch child likes hunting, so I like food. If you like baseball, so I also like baseball. Whatever it is that allows me, this is the approach that beyond my hopes and dreams for my child, the most important thing is that there is a connection, a, a strong, a healthy connection that allows me to share experiences with my child. And when we could do this genuinely, our children will want to make us proud. They'll want to please us. And it's in these efforts that we build this bridge that bonds us with our children and grandchildren for generations to come. Shabbat Shalom.